Hello students, welcome to Tiger is Digital Online Classes. In previous lecture, we had started a chapter, fourth chapter, that is tick, tick, tick. Okay, so in that we had seen in uh, the time, how to read the time. And also we had seen the story of Pampos and, <clears throat> sorry, Sajia. Okay, in that I'd ask you to draw, to uh, solve the practice time in your notebook and also solve it on a textbook. <coughs> so, uh, from the page number 38, uh, the question below, uh, last question, I'll solve it for you. So, let's start. I'll read it. Do you like sky watching? Yes, do you like sky watching? If yes, then this one should interest you. Okay, so uh, many of us, uh, when we sleep at night on the terrace, we start, we watch the sky, but during daytime, we avoid watch the sky because uh, the sun rays, whatever, it comes directly on our eyes and our, our eyes start watering. Yes, water comes in our eye due to the sun rays. So we avoid to watch the sky uh, in a daytime, but during night, uh, night, we watch stars, moons, yes, in the sky even though during the sunset in evening time we watch the sunset also the different shades in the sky sometimes in rainy seasons we watch rainbows in the sky see all of us like to watch a sky so let's see what question they are asked here yeah I, uh, I hope so that you had so solved this question but i'll uh, will uh, recapitulate it again at what time does the sun rise at your place? So, what is the answer you had written? It may vary. Uh, means at my uh, place, it uh, sunrise at different time. At your place, it uh, uh, sunrise at different times. Okay. So uh, the questions answer may vary. So what is mean by sunrise? Yes. Tell me what is mean by sunrise, and the other one is sunset. What is mean by sunset? Okay, so the sunrise means uh, when uh, the sun uh, comes, uh, when we see the uh, light in the sky, when we see uh, light or there all, all over uh, the sky, a uh, light is there. That means the sun is, uh, sun is somewhere in the sky. It happens that we can't see the sun just because of the buildings. Uh, it may be uh, sometimes uh, the, in rainy season, it may hide behind the clouds so we can't see the sun. But when we see the light in the sky, that means sun is there in the sky. So that the time, uh, the, uh, in morning we say uh, when the uh, light comes, when the darkness goes away and light, uh, all over the sky there is a light, that means the sun started rising that time, okay? Sunset means when there is a total dark in a sky during a night time. When there is a light in a sky, that is called a day. And when there is a dark in a, uh, a sky, that is a night. So sun comes in a daytime and moon comes in a night time. So understood what is meant sunrise and sunset? So whatever the time it is there, see, uh, at my time, the sunrise at my place is at six o'clock. So I will write here six o'clock. So six a.m. What is mean by a.m.? A.m., when we write a.m., when there is a morning, we write a.m. And when there is a night, means in the uh, evening, we write p.m. So at what time does the sun rise at your place? It, uh, my, at my place, it rises at uh, 6 a.m. So this time I have to show in this clock. So there is no minute in this time. So where will be the uh, minute hand? It will be in on 12 and our hand will be on 6. Yes? So this will be my time, okay? 6 a.m. Now, when does the sun set? At my place, I think so, it's sunset at 6.30. 6 30. 
p.m. 30 p.m. Six thirty PM. Okay. So when uh, during night time, what we write PM, and during in morning, what we uh, use for, uh, in front of time, that is a uh, AM. So if I mention six thirty, now we I have to show the time in uh, in my clock. So well, how many minutes are there? What is the time? What is the hour? It is six. So where will the hour hand? On a six and minutes tell me if my if my have uh, if my uh, minute hand is on 12 and now, now how many minutes you have to have to travel 30 minutes so how it is how we show 12 to 1 5 5 uh, 1 to 2 10 2 to 3 15 3 to 4 20 4 to 5 25 5 to 6 30 so where will be the my minute hand it will be on six now i am showing little bit far on uh, away just because it it is uh, so broader the line is so it should be understandable so this is the way uh, we can show our time okay understood what how to show that at what time sun rises and what what time sunset if it is possible one day just uh, wake up early in the morning you can wake up at a four o'clock around that time it will be the dark in a sky but observe that at what time you you see the light when you see the light in the sky it seems that somewhere at some place the sun is there sun is rising in the sky so that is the sunrise time and sunset when this darkness started beginning when the dark uh, start beginning this comes uh, start when the dark is there in the sky not a full dark but slowly slowly the dark uh, the night time start arrives dark arrives that time we can see the sunset time okay so observe tomorrow you can observe this if you wrote the answer no worry you had uh, you may, uh, you had took the answer from your mom and dad you had asked them but instead of asking them try to observe on yourself the timing okay so next does the sun rise and set at the same time every day is it sometimes what happened in during summer uh, season the sun uh, sets at seven o'clock uh, oh, it's little late it sets a little late yes but during winter seasons it uh, sets early just like when uh, in uh, let's consider in summer season it's uh, sun sets uh, at seven o'clock and in winter season it might sunset at six o'clock yeah five uh, five thirty or yeah, something some time will be there so it's not that key every time every day the sun rise and set at a same time for this for this you can uh, uh, instead uh, before writing this answer observe for two to three days uh, the sunset and sunrise time okay for this you can use your newspaper also uh, if you have a newspaper at home your or you can see on a internet also right now in this covid situation uh, it ha it might be newspaper is not coming your home but you can uh, see the uh, times of india app also on the google. also you can use a google to see the newspaper where they will, it will show a proper sunrise and sunset time of each and every month so you can observe that, uh, that you can see there, yes, the time is uh, varying or it is similar. Okay, so this you can solve on, uh, uh, again, you understand it properly and solve it properly if it's some uh, answer goes wrong. Okay, let's move to page number 38. One picture they had given here. So what they are saying, look at the photo and guess the time at this place. Which place it is? This is a photo. Uh, this photo was taken in Paris, France. In Paris, the sun set after 9 p.m. at night during summer. 
okay so at what uh, during summer the sunset at 9 pm yes during summer in our uh, country in our city it uh, sunset at 7 o'clock or 7:15 7:30 7, but there the time uh, the sun uh, the sunset start uh, after 9 pm so this photo was taken at night but in winter it becomes dark here by 4 pm in the evening so what i said prior also in our uh, country uh, five at a uh, in winter the sun set little bit early and in summer it take uh, sunset little bit late okay so here they had given uh, they are, it uh, the photo is taken in night it's taken during night so in winter their sunset is at 4 pm in the evening but it winter becomes dark here by 4 pm so when this photo is taken so i think so the photo is taken between 4 pm to 9 pm yes because the sun it is uh, you can see little bit the light and the picture it's not totally dark over there it's little bit light is there so we can see the picture properly so next question find out third one how long will it take the minute hand to move from so here the question is given so what you have to do they had given two clocks so just you have to uh, write a minute hand how much long, how long it is traveling to move from one time to other time okay so let's solve the first one okay so you can see the timing let's read the timing first you can see the minute uh, our hand it's between 3 to uh, and 4 so when the our hand is between 3 and 4 not on a particular number so what we say we what we can which number we consider we consider a smaller number so which number is smaller in 3 and 4 the number is 3 so let's take a 3 so what is the time 3 hours yes now let's see the minute hand the minute hand is on 7 so let's start counting as we know we start counting from 12 so let's start counting from 12 so 12 to 1 5 5 1, 1 to 2 5 minutes more that it will be 10 then 2 to 3 5 minutes more 15 3 to 4 20 4 to 5 25 5 to 6 30 so now from if we come 12 to 6 means it come half minute past that means 30 minute past okay now the 7 is a minute hand is on 7 so 6 to 7 more 5 minutes that means 35 minutes so this clock timing is 335 okay now again let's see the next clock time again the our hand is between 3 and 4 it's not uh, on a 4 and not exactly on a 3 not exactly on a 3 so what is the uh, timing what is r it is right now 3 3 and now minute hand as we see in this clock the uh, from 1 to 7 sorry 12 to 7 it is a 35 minutes yes 35 minutes so from 7 to 8 40 8 8 to 9 50 and sorry 7 to 8 for 30 40 uh, 8 to 9 45 and 9 to 10 50 so what is the time here 50 minutes now what they had has the r has sorry the minute hand how much time it take uh, what is uh, uh, in a, uh, a first clock we can see the time it is 335 and in second clock it is 350 so how much uh, minute it had move ahead okay so that time we have to uh, mention over here if we see in a minute first clock and we we'll use different uh, 
kala okay so if we see in the first clock the seven uh, it is on minute hand is on seven and in second clock it is on, on 10 so from 10 uh, let's count from 7 to 10 so till 10 what time it will take 7 to 8 5 minutes 8 to 9 5 minutes and 9 to 10 5 minutes means total how many minutes it took for to go to uh, uh, 10 it took 15 minutes understood how we are calculating the uh, minute hand yes 15 minute understood all of you so whenever we are just calculating the traveling points from this number to that number how much it is traveling how much minute it is taking same way now you can see the uh, r is similar here they are not different when they are different that time it will be quite critical to understand the time we'll learn that also in next uh, time, next uh, questions but right now we'll see there no in the d1 uh, it is showing the yeah no uh, it will learn ahead not in d1 it also same uh, having a similar time only no it is different let's see now the c uh, b question what is time your minute hand our hand is on between again it is between three and four so what the which r will consider which number will consider three and minute hand is on tell me start counting from 12 yes 12 to 1 5 1 to 2 10 2 to 3 15 3 to 4 20 4 to 5 30 sorry 4 to 5 25 5 to 6 30 6 to 7 35 7 to 8 40 so what is the time over here 40 3 40 okay now in next clock the r hand is on four now you can see it is not uh, between three and four it is also not on three it is on four so what time we are saying here it is on four and the uh, is any there minute over there no it is exactly minute hand is on 12 so what time it is four o'clock when the minute hand is on 12 and our hand is on 4, the timing we say is that it is 4 or clock. Now, in this first uh, clock, our minute hand is on, was on 8 and now it is on 12. So, let's count how much time it took to go from, how much travel time it took uh, from 8 to 12. So, here it was 8, uh, uh, 40, okay. So let's take a let's count a time. Eight to nine, five minutes. Nine to ten, five minutes. Ten to eleven, five minutes. And eleven to twelve, five minutes. How many minutes it contains? It took twenty minutes. How many minutes? Twenty. Add all five, four, five. So how many minutes it took? Twenty minutes it took to travel from eight to twelve understood how we are saying okay so next two questions c and d you have to do on your own solve this question also in your notebook draw a proper clock and solve this question also in your notebook let's move for page number 39 here also you have to just draw a hands draw where the hands will be what it is 20 minutes after 6 o'clock what they had gave uh, they had gave us the time they had gave the hour clock 6 o'clock means what we say is it is on uh, uh, our hand will be on 6 so if we see the hour hand on a 6 and 20 minutes after 6 o'clock 20 minutes after so if the minute hand is on 6, uh, 12, if we say that minute hand is on 12, so after 12, we have to count for the, uh, after 12, we have to go for a 20 minutes. We have to travel the minute hand for 20 minutes. So 20 minutes, let's start counting. 12 to 1, 5 minutes. 1 to 2, 10 minutes. Sorry, 
12 to 2, 20 minutes. Then again, 2 to 3, what, how many minutes it will become? It will become 15 minutes. 3 to 4, again, it will become a 20 minutes. So what, where will be the hour, hour minute hand? It will be on 4. Understood how to show the, how to draw the minute hand? They had already give. Uh, they had already given us a hour hand. Hour hand time. We just have to uh, draw a minute hand. Okay. So just you have to count here. Similarly, eight o'clock they had given, and thirty minutes you have to travel. We have to uh, travel the minute hand for thirty minutes. Here, ten minutes after seven o'clock. Fifteen minutes after five o'clock. Next question. How long does your school assembly take? Now, I know that you are at home. So right now you are just not, uh, you are not attending any assembly or a school is not conducting any assembly, but still you can see on our website, uh, uh, Tigerish website, uh, on this first page, they are showing the school assembly also. Uh, how many minutes you, they, it is conducting, you can see the timing also there. If you remember your previous uh, last year's assembly timing, you can uh, calculate that timing and you can write over there. But if it is not, if you don't remember, you can uh, see on our website also assembly timing, how much time it ta assembly takes. That timing you can mention over here, okay? Then how long is your lunch break? That also. Uh, it takes approximately 15 minutes or 30 minutes uh, long as uh, all school has 15 to 30 minutes lunch break, not more than that. Then you can write the timing. It may varies also. Okay. So next, how long is your game period? That is a PT period, PE period we can say. So uh, it uh, takes each and every period have a 35 minutes time. 35 minute time uh, periods are there also. You can write a 35 minute period, 35 minutes. Lunch break, you can write half an hour. That is, means half an hour means how many minutes? 30 minutes. You have to write your uh, minutes, okay? Don't forget to write minutes. I'm just not writing because uh, it taking more, more time. So 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Is it the same as all the other periods? Sometimes it's sometimes that uh, uh, if you uh, if we have a two PP period in a uh, one day, so one period is thirty five minutes, and other periods also uh, uh, two periods are there. So how many? Uh, what will be the how many uh, how many minutes you will get over there? Tell me. Two periods of P PT period game period. So what will be the time? Hmm. 70 minutes if you, there are two periods that means you are getting a 70 minutes to play so is it the same as all the others no you may get a little bit extra time also during playing the PE period it's depend on the timetable how the time school uh, school timetable is uh, made so it according to that only it is we can say that it may vary, okay? So I'm just writing no, because it uh, we, are, we get extra time for, for playing. Let's see the next question. Now here they are sitting in a class. They are doing their work. The students, they are in this first picture you can see, they're having their lunch, they are having a, their period, uh, PE period. And second, they are doing the study. The girl, what she's saying, let's see, or the teacher, she is teacher. So what she's saying, let's see. The games period and a lunch break seems very short, aren't they? Yeah, sometimes the games, games period and lunch break also have, has very short. Each and every timetable differs according to the school, how they make, so how much weightage they give, it's, it depends on them. Okay, so uh, let's move for the page number 40. How many minutes can these activities take? Make a guess and then check at a home. Now, okay. So we were on the question next activity. 
that how many minutes can these activities take? Make a guess and then check at home. So what you have to do, you have to do perform this activity at your home and then you have to write a answer. First activity is boiling one liter milk. When the, in morning the milkman come at your home and when your mom keep the milk for boiling and after that you consume the milk or you drink the milk. So before uh, uh, wake tomorrow early in the morning when the milkman came or when uh, some uh, packet or uh, your father bring at home or uh, your mama bring milk uh, from a shop, ask her to wait for you and then uh, when you will wake up, tell her to keep uh, milk for boiling. You don't uh, on the gas or you don't try to keep uh, milk on for boiling. Ask your mama to do this thing. You just observe the thing. And when you, uh, your mama keep the milk utensil on a uh, flame, on a gas, start your timing over uh, from, uh, uh, from there. Okay. So if the uh, gas flame is uh, at in a high speed, the milk will boil a uh, little early. And so if it is taking, if we uh, consider as a time, uh, in 15 minutes, when the uh, flame is high, it takes a 15 minutes to boil a milk. And when the flame, flame is low, it takes 20 minutes to boil a milk. Okay. So observe, you have to, I'm just giving an example. You have to observe that thing. Uh, when we keep a flame in a high speed, it might happen that uh, the milk comes out and burst out on a gas. So all the things will get uh, messy and clean, uh, dirty. So better that keep the flame low and then observe the uh, timing. Okay. Next second is a filling a bucket. So uh, what you have to do if you have a bucket at home, just keep the water, uh, keep the bucket under a tap and uh, open a tap and start your time when you open the tap and try observe that how much time it take to fill a bucket. This also, it also has a two condition. If your tap is low, means if your tap is uh, half open, it will take more, more minute. And if it is fully open, it will take less minute. It also depends on a bucket also. If the bucket size is small, it will take less time to uh, uh, fill. And if it, the bucket is big, it will take more time, okay? Next is sweeping your room. Again, here you can see that if a room is big, it will take more time to sweeping a room. If the room is small, it will take less time. Now, all this answer you have to write on your own. You have to experience it. You have to do that thing and then write the proper answer. Okay, let's move for the activity time. So before moving that, uh, in this question uh, on page, uh, in page number 39, uh, they had asked us a question that uh, is this the same as all the other period? So we'll consider as I told you that uh, 35, if there are two periods in one day, then we can say that uh, it gave us 70 minutes to play. But one period is also same as the other periods only, 35 minutes only. Yes. So the answer is yes. It is the same as all other periods. We didn't get the extra time. That means it's not that the 45 minutes, 40 minutes or 45 minutes are game period is. It is 35 minutes only and 35 minutes all uh, each periods are there. So answer is yes. Okay. So next activity time. So let's do this activity. <clears throat> One minute activity. How many times can you do? So this activity you can play with your friends or with your parents or with your sister siblings also. You just have to, what you have to do in one minute, what, what things you can, how many times you can do. So first one is snap your finger, snap your finger. So what you have to do in uh, just uh, place a stopwatch. You can ask your parents or mom and dad to play with your, with you and start, ask them to start the timing. So. First one is snap your finger. Snap your finger means chutki. You know how we uh, snap our finger? Chutki bajate hai na? Same way. You have to snap your snap our fingers. But in one minute, you have to count how many snapping you had done with your fingers. Just like uh, as if the uh, uh, time is started. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like this, you have to count how much uh, time you had snap your finger. Second one, skip a rope. Uh, you, you can start the skipping when one minute started start keep, skipping yourself 
so this these all these activities timing you have to write on your own if i'll give the answer but it's may the answer may vary so better you do your this activity on yourself and then write the answer okay it will be a correct answer you'll get a accurate answer when you'll do on your own then jump up and down up and down you have to start jumping up and down in one minute how many jump uh, jumping you can do so next write more such fun activities in this column so you can write uh, in one minute how many uh, pages you can read start reading in one minute how many words you can read or you can write in one minute many how many words you can write in one minute just like a counting activities take and uh, in one minute so that it will be easy to write so, okay so whatever the activities uh, new activities if it is uh, you can do you can uh, write over here next here is the another challenge for you how long can you now on the same page you can see there are more activities they had given first one is a speak non stop you have to speak non stop continuous talking 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 sometimes it happens with you also that uh, you start talking continuously and your mama says ab bas kar kitne baatein karega yes same way in one minute you have to start continuous uh, means not in one minute they had not given a time challenge but start speaking so continuous speaking you should not take a little bit pause also so just uh, observe that how much time you had uh, talked means uh, two minutes three minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes some people talk non stop to uh, 20 to 25 minutes without stopping they start uh, continuously start uh, talk same way you have to observe yourself again second one is stand on one leg these activities many time we can play this game so we start stand on one leg and ask your uh, sister to count or a brother to count so just observe that how much time i take for the stand how much time i had stand on one leg then sing a uh, without a break in one uh, breath you have to sing a uh, okay next how long do you take to um means how much time you take uh, for uh, doing this activities run a 50 meter race now what do you have to do you have to run for 50 meters we know that in the lockdown you can't run for 50 meter but uh, you can run from one room to the other room which uh, take a 50 uh, which cover a distance 50 meter so how much time it took for you you can observe your uh, ask your mama to run with you so how much time she take you can write that time over here then next collect 50 pebbles from the ground again you can go out to on a ground to collect the pebbles or you can go in a parking so you can do one thing uh, take all grains grains means uh, wheat then rice uh you can take this kind of uh, dal you uh, lentils that things you can do chana and all the things you can take and you just uh, collect 50 pebbles uh, 50 uh, grains whatever the, if you uh, take took a rice uh, collect uh, 50 rice one 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 by one 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 counting 50 rice in your hands and uh, observe uh, that how much time you took for collecting the rice i know that pebbles and rice or a uh, different grains it will uh, the time will vary but now we are uh, we are in such situation that we can't go out so better instead of pebbles you can do this thing also count 1 to 100 this you can sit at your room and you can do that at home you can you can do this play these activities with your friends or not with your friends uh, with your sisters with your siblings or you can do with this uh, online also how we uh, do online classes do video chat with your friends or with your relatives uh, who are far from here and play these activities online with them it will be fun for you also and for them also okay and see who is the winner okay. so for today we will we have will stop here only so we finish with our the activities many activities and the clock questions also solve all the questions in your notebook not these activities but the practice questions what we had given solve these questions in your notebook till uh, question number i think so 3 find out find out uh, draw draw where the hands will be till this question solve all the questions in your notebook okay 
next uh, these things we had finished in next lecture we'll start with the page number 41 till that stay safe stay home don't go out do go homework whatever i had gave you if you have query just let me know on a whatsapp i'm there for you okay take care bye